Michael, how would you reflect on today's friendly against Everton? Um, it was a good workout. Um, you know, obviously a, a tough game, and the last game before the season starts. So again, we've got so many new bodies in, so it was, it was a bit different to a normal pre-season. You know, we've still got to try to get minutes into people's legs. Um, you know, that was my personally that was my first night in probably about six six months. So. You know, I felt it near the end. Um, but that was a good test against us. I think I don't think it was obviously a one-nil game. It was a sloppy goal to lose right at the, right at the death. But um, I think I think it was uh, pretty decent. Yeah. Do you feel as though there are quite a few uh, positives to take from the game? Uh, yeah, yeah, we had some, especially the first first half, maybe 60, 60 minutes of the game. Um, I thought we did really well. We, we actually, I think we controlled the ball a lot better. Um, patterns of play were good. It was just that final, you know, final bit at the end. Um, we just couldn't really create for the good play that we had um, and we, we worked on a couple of things and it, it, it paid off you know, in that time but then I think obviously we made we brought all the new lads on and I don't, I don't even think any of them have trained us so you know, it was quite good to see them come on and uh, link it up a little bit near the end as well. You mentioned there yeah, that you, you faced for 90 minutes for a while, do you feel as though you're in a better place as a result of that? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, obviously you know, the gaffer built me up, um, you know, he gave me 30 against uh, Derby and then 60 against Burton and then uh, full night today so yeah I think that was the most sensible way of doing it because I haven't played football for a long time um, so yeah it's good I felt 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 good today and um, felt like I had a decent game but um, still more to come yeah. You've been here a few weeks now how have you settled into life at Stoke City? Yeah settled in really well um, obviously it helps it's a lot easier when you start to play the games you know and you, you get involved in the, in the match day stuff um, but um, yeah I think I've settled pretty quick because there's always somebody new coming in um, so it's that, that helps as well. Are you, are you starting to build those relationships with your fellow defenders as well? Yeah, yeah. So I think obviously that's the second game that me and Ben have played, um, which is good. Um, and yeah, things will come just just through minutes. But obviously the the real business starts next week, so um, we maybe right at it. What's an Alex Neil pre-season been like? Well, I missed the, the, the toughest bit of it, I think. So um, I was quite lucky in that regard. Uh, but um, I've heard it's you know it's pretty tough. Um, but you know, like every pre-season anywhere you go is tough. You need you need it to. Get your body ready, you know, for for the season ahead because you play you're playing Saturday, Tuesday most weeks. Um, so you need to get that fitness in your legs. Are you starting to feel the benefits of it there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, just I think for me, just being back in, you know, routine of training, you know, every single day. I've, I've said that's my third third minutes now, or well, third game with with minutes now as well. So um, that's just all I needed really. I just needed games, and now I've got a good few minutes under my belt. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Do you feel ready for the start of the season now with any? A few few days away now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, obviously. We've, today was a good uh, a good workout for, uh, for myself and the team, and then uh, obviously we've got all next week as well to prepare. Um, but yeah, yeah, I feel ready, hundred percent. How much are you looking forward to getting going? Yeah, can't wait. Obviously, for me, it's a uh, you know a new club, new start. So um, for me, I, I can't wait to get going and uh, you know I want to get this place rocking and, and win, win football matches.